Good day, my name is Melanie Ohana with the identity number 72032200022. I'm from Accounting Policy and today on this opportunity, uh, on the behalf of the assignment from our lecturers on English communication business, uh, today I would like to give the, a little presentation about our material, which is talk about the presentation skills. So without any further ado, I'll just get into my presentation. So hi dropshippers and resellers, my name is Melanie Ohana and on this change we would like to going to talk about the dropshipping and the resell world. So if you are a startup and you are going to find any business or especially that new and to learn the business so this presentation is right for you. So without any further ado, let's just get down to the material. First, what is dropship? Dropship is a system of selling goods belonging to other people or producer to the buyers without you actually knowing the conditions of the goods or the goods that are sent from the manufacturer or the supplier directly to the buyer on your behalf. So you act as a liaison. You can look for supplier who open dropshipping system or you can take the advantage of large marketplaces such as Tokopedia, Bukalapak, Shopee, and etc. Uh, to find your suppliers. So what is the benefit by being a dropshipper itself? There's gonna be a lot of profit and benefits that you will take by being a dropshipper or a reseller. This dropshipping system is a very profitable because the capital spent is almost non-existent. You only need a smartphone, a social media account for promotions and websites. Only that. You don't also need stock, so you don't need to, uh, a, a big store or a warehouse to keep your things or to keep your goods. For those of, of you who are still beginners in buying and selling and still have minimal capital, becoming a dropshipper is the right choice. But even though, even though this all is and these things that we heard easy and we find like easy, but there's also a quotation for us. Selling with a dropshipping system requires patience in dealing with questions from prospective buyers. You need to learn also the product information or the product usability in, to be successful in buying and selling the dropshipping system. So this is like um, the simple mechanism for all of you that we are going uh, so we can understand it more uh, clearly. So first, the customer will make an order there will make an order uh, for the things or for the goods that they are going to buy and they will go to your shop to your shop or your stand and then you're going to forward that order to the supplier and the supplier will directly send the goods or the things or the offer um, to the customer itself but on the behalf of your names or you as the dropshipper itself so this is the, the very simple mechanisms by being a dropshipper itself so the, the the next point is about tips on being a successful dropshipper. So first, you have to look for the right supplier. That's right. So your business connections will not going to be lack, or there's gonna be some some uh, questionable things uh, based on your kind of, based on your business itself. So you have to look for the right supplier. The second thing is. Determine your brand and your product campaign and start to campaign your products and it. And the third is you have to know how to handle your customers because there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, types of the customer itself. So you need to learn also how to handle the customers. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all about these presentations about the dropship the dropshipping world. So. If you find it interesting, so what are you waiting for? So I'm Melanie Johanna. Thank you for today and good day.